All right, it's your friendly butcher back here talking about new recipe. Well, not really new to my family, but maybe new to you. Just a cool different way to do chicken breast. And that's stuffing them with three of my favorite ingredients, our house cured pancetta, fresh spinach, and feta cheese. Of course, the Greek style feta, the best feta cheese that there is in the world. Our pancetta that we're stuffing the chicken breast with, is, it's bacon. But instead of it being smoked, like regular bacon is, and done with the different ingredients that we do in-house, like our country cured paprika, garlic bacon, black pepper, this pancetta has been cured like prosciutto or in the mold of capicole. So we rub it down first with salt, pepper, garlic, a little bit of onion, some fresh herbs like thyme, rosemary, and this thing is fantastic. It looks ready to eat before we even cure it. We roll it up together in one, one piece, we string it up, let it cure for six months. So it's never been cooked before. It's done straight in the mold of the capicole, the prosciutto, the dried Italian meat. So it has a little bit of saltiness to it, but tons of flavor. It goes great with the chicken breast and it really, really interacts well with the, with the spinach and the feta cheese that we're gonna use on top. Easy recipe, we're just rolling these chicken breasts, tying them up, or you can put a toothpick like I do on it, cut the top if it has a little bit of plastic thing, that way you don't have to worry about that burning. And these chicken breasts rub down with my favorite butcher rub, that's our Buckeye seasoning. It can be used on anything, steaks, pork chops, and especially chicken breast. What's nice about the Buckeye seasoning, it's not too salty. It does have some different peppers in it. We use six different types of pepper, but I feel like the flavor really brings out something like chicken breast. You don't have to worry about over salting it or over marinating. A little bit of olive oil in that butcher rub is like an all natural way to marinate your chicken breast and you don't have to worry about extra sodium. And then you just grill them or you can bake them in the oven. If you're grilling them, you want to sear them on both sides first and finish them off like at medium heat, somewhere around like 325, 350, maybe total time like around 20 minutes. And if you're going to do them in the oven, I do recommend searing them in just a little bit of olive oil on top of your stove first. Do like one minute and then one minute on the other side, bake them in the oven for the next 15 to 18 minutes, finish them off at 350, put a little bit of chicken broth at the bottom of the pan. It's a hint when you're doing chicken after you quick fried, like chicken francais, or chicken marcella, or chicken provolone. The chicken broth really helps keep them tender and moist in your oven, which tendency to evaporate the heat, unlike a grill, which the heat tends to come at it from the bottom. The oven comes out of the bottom, but the, the moisture leaves the chicken breast. So we don't, wanna, we don't wanna lose any of that moisture, any of that good flavor, especially because we're using all fresh ingredients. Um, if you don't have any fresh spinach, you can use frozen spinach as well. Um, something I always keep in the freezer so that I can quickly make this wonderful dish. So please enjoy one of our family's favorite dishes that's stuffed chicken breasts with feta, pancetta, and spinach. We'll see you later, meatheads.